Hi, I'm Beth with TB Properties Buys Land. In the last discussion, we covered legal access, what it is, and why it's important. Uh, in this discussion, I wanted to cover an example of a property that the owner had thought it had legal access, and we found out that it didn't, and also what the consequences of that are, okay? So we were working with a landowner. He had property in Montana, beautiful 20 acres, and for him, of course he had legal access. There's a road going to it. He'd always gotten there easily. Why would he suspect that he didn't have legal access to the property, okay? So uh, again, it was a dirt road. It was accessible during warm weather, you know, maybe not during the heavy snows, but it was, it was, a, good, it was a good weather property, okay? So we go through the title process and the title commitment comes back and it says that there's lack of access, okay? So the first uh, thing that you're gonna see if you look at a title commitment is that the title company cannot ensure the access to that property, all right? So that's a big issue when you're trying to get title insurance. And what does that mean? That means the value of the property may change um, and it also, um, it may, um, make it harder to sell that, okay? You know, if you wanna ever sell that property again, right? So the next issue you have to think about with that property is that not only is there not legal access to that, let's just say you're trying to resell that property, um, it's gonna be hard for someone to get a loan for that property. If this is a valuable property, you know, maybe it's big enough or it's in a, in a valuable enough area that it's gonna be costly and someone needs to get a bank loan, a bank is not going to loan on a property that doesn't have insurable access, okay? So that's gonna be a big issue. Maybe you can get there, maybe that road is open. However, it's gonna be hard to get a bank loan on it and you're not gonna have title insurance covering the access to that property. Okay, so it was interesting because the uh, the seller, you know, he said, oh, I have got legal access. Then he found out he didn't have legal access. Well, he had a realtor friend and she said, oh, don't worry about that. You know, even though there's no legal access and people have been traversing that road forever, it's not a big deal. They just can go through. But the, the situation is that a, a landowner anywhere through that property, on, on through that road, can put up a gate and they can close that road off. And what do you have to do? Maybe, maybe there are laws in place that you can get around that, but you now, as the landowner, have to go through a court case. You have to hire an attorney. You have to bring a lawsuit. That costs money. So all, all of what I'm saying here is that that can be extremely inconvenient for somebody to have to go through that process. Um, if that were to happen, uh, it, it, it could be costly. So that, what does that do? It brings the value of the property down. If you do not have a road to your property, a physical road to the property, that's problematic that brings the value of your property down. If you do not have legal access to your property, um, it, it brings it even further uh, down. You cannot insure access you know, through the title company. The title insurance is not gonna cover that. And uh, somebody who's trying to buy the property down the road may not be able to get a loan against that. So when TV Properties Buys Land asks you, do you have legal access? And that's what we're asking about. And again, that can be found on the deed. If you have the deed to your property, you can look to see whether you've got uh, legal access. Do you have ingress and egress across existing roads to that property? Does it call it out? Um, you know, is there a survey that covers that, um, that legal access to your property? So that's just one example. We've run into many, many examples where properties don't have legal access and that creates many, many issues. So if you have any questions about legal access to your property, um, if you've got vacant land you're interested in selling, you wanna get a quote on it, reach out to us. We're happy to, to respond to you via their email, uh, whether it's phone number or the filling out the form on our website. We're happy to help. I look forward to hearing back from you. Thanks.